Hey there, posse. So what's the big deal with tannins? You know, those molecules that are they are either your best friends or the reason you made that face at the last wine tasting. That's what we're going to do in, th in this particular episode. Transition from making faces to falling in love with a, a, a whole varietal or variety of wines. This one's really going to, to be helpful to, to many of you. Are you ready? Come on, let's go. I'm Pierre and welcome to Asti Wine Consultants. Now in this particular episode we'll talk about tannins. You, you know those those elements in wines that make your mouth sort of pucker up. Uh, we'll break down uh, what tannins are, uh, which wines uh, to look for, and uh, how to go about not only uh, appreciating but uh, falling in love with tannins. Now the first thing we, we want to do is look at what tannins actually are. Now they're naturally occurring components found in, in the skins and the seeds and the, the stems of grapes. They're also present in tea, wood, uh, like oak, and, and other plants and vegetables. Now in wine, <laughs> tannins are like the, that person at the party who, who brings structure and, and a touch of seriousness. Now they're not actually the party pooper, but uh, verging on one. They bring a little astringent balance uh, to to the wine, making sure that uh, things don't get too uh, sweet or mushy. They're what gives you in red wine uh, its backbone and and that drying sensation in your mouth. You know you pucker like uh, you've almost been, you're tasting like a lemon only without it being sour. Now almost all reds have tannins. Let's say just about, oh, right around 100%. Uh, white wines, not so much. Now, they're usually like that crazy little uh, carefree cousin who's uh, all about uh, being light and fresh, free of tannic responsibility. So for table wines, if it's red, you're dealing with tannins. If it's white, generally, you're, you're in the clear. Now, the reason I say generally is because with white wines, uh, uh, aged in oak barrels, then you'll find some tannic influence, which, which comes from the oak barrels. How are you doing there? Is this information making sense? If it is, write Asti in the comments below. Now, okay, to get started loving wines with tannins, you might want to, to have an idea of which wines are low in tannins and which wines are high in tannins. I actually have this, this little refrigerator magnet that, that lists uh, the most popular red wines. It rates the level of tannins, uh, there's a brief taste or flavor profile, and what kind of food pairs well with each. Uh, you might want to actually check this out. Now very briefly, here are some wines that are uh, lower in tannins. Pinot Noir. Uh, Pinots are uh, since the sensitive artist of, of the wine world with just a whisper of tannins. Gamay. Uh, think of this as, as the easygoing friend who never brings d drama to a gathering. Then you have Grenache or Grenache. Uh, light on the tannins, heavy on the fruit, like the, the wine equivalent, easy for me to say, uh, of, a, of a tropical vacation. Now on the flip side, we have those wines that are the that are highest or high in tannins. These are the, the wines that say, I'm here and you're going to remember me. Nebbiolo. Uh, this is the wine that will, will age for uh, decades and still give you a punch of tannins uh, like day one. Cabernet Sauvignon, the king of tannins, strutting in with full-bodied confidence. Between Nibbiolos and Cabernets, I've had some that, that were so tenantic that they could suck the fillings right out of your teeth. There's also Syrah, dark, brooding, and packed with just enough tannins to make you 
sit up straight. Now the last thing we want to do, recognize or realize uh, is that uh, learning to love tannic wine is like acquiring a taste for like dark chocolate or, or strong coffee, you know, espresso. Uh, here's the game plan. Start slow. Beginning with wines that have low tannins like uh, Pinot Noirs or moderate tannins like Merlots. It's like dipping your toe in before you jump into the deep end. Pair wisely. Tananic wines love food, especially rich, fatty dishes. <laughs> you know, uh, like steaks, lambs, and anything that will clog your arteries. Uh, the fat softens the, the tannins, making them less intense. Aerate or decant. Now, this is huge. Tannins aren't really meant to be the, the focal point of any wine. Give your wine some air. Put it into a decanter or just let it sit in the glass a little bit. It's like letting it, it stretch its legs before a big game or before a big race. It'll be more relaxed and, and enjoyable because the oxygen will soften the tannins. That enables them to, to uh, blend more harmoniously with the other flavors. Taste and repeat. Just like anything else in life, practice makes perfect. Keep sipping and, and eventually you'll find yourself craving that, that structured, slightly bitter edge that, that uh, tannins bring. <laughs> well, there you have it. With time, you might just find yourself in, in love with the very thing that once made you, uh, you know, pucker up like you'd just eaten a lemon. Until next time, cheers. Hey Bossy, thanks a ton for taking the time to watch this video. I promise no grapes were harmed in the making of it. Well, maybe just a few. Now if you got any questions, let me know in the comments below. And, and hey, if you don't want to miss out on any of my future content, go ahead and tap that subscribe button. Oh, and before you go, don't forget to check out some of these other videos. Until next time, cheers.